It was revealed this week that just under 100 health workers are currently in self-isolation after identifying themselves as having COVID-19 symptoms. Of these, 28 health authority and elderly residential services employees are confirmed to have been infected by the coronavirus. The government considers this to be a good thing, while maintaining that carrying out tests among all staff would only happen if ministers received specialist advice to this effect. Whether we test a particular group of workers or whether we don't is generally something which is done on public health advice. So you know, a lot of the, what the government has done so far has been done on the advice of the director of public health. If we advise this is something that needs to be done, we would do it. And if he doesn't, then, then we don't. But you will have heard him say that it was important also to create a cohort of workers who were immune, who'd already gone through the virus. So those are ready to take over from, from others who may catch it at a later stage. We need to create an immune population, and that can only be done if people catch the virus. If people don't catch the virus, then we will never be able um, to, to get that immunity that we so need. So it is a good thing that while things at the moment are, are, you know, are not so busy, that our healthcare workers perhaps are contracting the virus in a very controlled fashion, and that would put us in a good stead um, for what we expect, which will be a surge um, in perhaps in the coming weeks. The ministers would not be drawn on what contingency plan existed in case a greater number of health workers tested positive and or needed to self-isolate. They also declined to reveal the nationality of those infected with COVID-19 or where they could have potentially been infected. Insofar as people crossing the border from Spain are concerned, the numbers doing so have dropped by 92% compared with the same week last year, with the Spanish authorities being fully cooperative, provided commuters have their correct documentation and comply with the lockdown measures on both sides of the frontier. Seven passengers from a flight from London were this week refused entry into Spain until their paperwork was in order, with British Airways having been advised to ensure their passengers are all aware of the documentation requirements to access Spain. Meanwhile, 27 Gibraltar residents are still stranded in Australia, India, Morocco and the USA, pending arrangements to fly back to the Rock. Tuesday's numbers are encouraging. 1,440 swabs have now been taken, resulting in 113 cases confirmed locally. 60 of these people have now recovered, with 53 COVID-19 cases still active, three of whom are in hospital, including one patient in ICU. There are also three patients at a care home. 389 tests are pending results, with a peak expected in the next couple of weeks. Calls to 111 are on the climb, with over 4,000 having been received so far. Of these, 229 people are currently self-isolating. It means that many are experiencing symptoms, for which the high risk of infection remains. The government's objective continues to be to protect the vulnerable. We cannot say what will happen next, but it's important not to lower our guard. The virus is out there. You cannot see it, you cannot touch it, you cannot hear it, but it is there, an invisible killer. And you can catch it from other people. You can also catch it from objects. Beware of this cross-contamination. If you are over 70, do not allow anyone into your home and make sure you clean and disinfect anything that comes in from the outside. It is the only way to keep safe. Three weeks at home is a long time. We know that. It is not easy. But you must understand that a real risk exists, a risk to life. There are good news stories too. Over a million pounds has already been donated by the public which will be used specifically to fund the extraordinary COVID operations, including the purchase of personal protection equipment and ventilators. The health minister said the generosity of the Gibraltarian community knows no bounds. But as ever, there are two sides to every story, and while many are demonstrating the best of Gibraltar, others are pushing the boundaries. Despite the seriousness of the situation, there are still those who are flouting the rules. According to the Deputy Chief Minister, the RGP has already arrested a number of people, with some 40 others having been escorted home, including over 70s. For this reason, the option to tighten the lockdown rules further remains on the table. 
Despite the concurrent discussions that are underway to plan for the lifting of restrictions, this won't happen anytime soon.